What's good guys, so this is making a beat with the new Lofi drum kits, the free Lofi drum kits that you can find in the description below. Uh, I have a handful of them, and uh, here are the kit locations right here. Again, I'm going to put this in the description. So I'm using these kits to make this beat live, real time. Hopefully this beat is not bad, so I can not have to re-record this whole thing. Just a uh, select like drum kit. So this is a very bold drum kit uh, distribution video. So Lofi World is what they're in. You'll see it live, guys. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I recommend just really trying hard to play it well. That's like my new piece of melody advice. Play both, play with two hands, and then like, I swear it just saves time when you're making melodies. Shift this over. Oh, oh you must. Take the metronome off. And still didn't record perfectly. Just annoying. Uh, why did it do that? Probably because I didn't play it right. lovely about playing these simple patterns and simple chords is like they're kind of easy to edit like I just know it's gonna hit like right here I think I got right back on beat here see if you just play it like decently see how much time that saves like I don't have to like re-edit it or anything like that so now I can just move on to like trying to layer it then add effects um this is obviously seeming like a very slow roller type beat already. Obviously a loafy beat, I mean. It's a loafy beat. I like adding the atmosphere. I like layering it with the atmosphere. So now we have our bass. Well, actually, let's, let's throw some effects on this. We have the convolver. They're already here. I just use like the basic con the intro convolver. Like I don't change anything except for the wetness. I turn it down a little bit. There's a free love filter. Which I kind of want to avoid even using. This is like my. I use this late in the beat effect. I like just adding that late in the beat. You can also go into gross beats, see what see what you can pop off. So like I said, I, I like to add these like later in the beat or just have it like just kind of out there so I can just like go back to it later. So we'll just like put it like here because I don't want to mess up my beat making process too much. And then like we're going to do the same thing with uh, this sound. 
which is just like uh, it's one of the pre it's one of the presets, man. I think it's like called melodic bandwidth under the fruity love filter. So like we're just gonna go like this is just deep sea diving, you know what I'm saying? This is like one of my favorite effects actually for melodies. It just kind of sounds like just totally out there. Like you sound cold when you do stuff like this. See that switch up? Ain't that nice? So anyways, let's go let's go to the bass. Go to the bass. I'm just gonna look for a good bass, basically. I mean this is a good bass. The one I already have up. Smash the vibe. Let's see what we can do with this. You don't want to mess it up too much. I like that second pattern. That was more unique and just more interesting. It kind of gave it like a more darker edge. Bass, a bass is like the most underrated instrument. Like I swear, like this, a bass would just change your whole beat complexion. I throw a little reverb on it. A little bit of distortion. Turn the volume down a little bit. We can really just have this coming later in the beat too. Doesn't even have to be in the beginning. Let's go to the drums. The moment y'all have been waiting for. See, it's actually kind of rare to even find a lofi kit with 808s. I like to just add the same one there and there and just mix it up. I'm just really going off the asparagus kit so far. I kind of like a harder kick. We can rock with that one. <laughs> Let's go replace the snap. These sounds are very quiet. I like this snare, that's cool. So, uh, <laughs> sorry for not going through any of these other kits. These are a lot louder. Let me just keep the beat soft though. This is also a good kick. I like that kick. We'll just go through. Uh, has a little intro here. Sure. Throw that in there. It seems like it has a delay on it. Yeah, that one does. You can just see the uh, thing up there. I'm about to delete this one. I don't like it. I like it, but I don't like it. Can I rename it? No, okay. Huh? What they got in here? More vinyl sounds. <laughs> okay, so let's just keep going through these. We're going just here. Why would you not want this in a beat? Yeah. 
Oh, these are ad libs. I don't even notice. Okay. What else I got in here? A better snare. Drum kit, Lofi drum kit, check the description. Description. <coughs> Breathe, cuz. <coughs> this, this market vibe. More vinyl crackles. Can never have enough vinyl crackles in a in a loafy beat. Got this busy park. It's going down the park. Right, what else we got? This last. Yeah. This one seems a little bit more well organized. Uh. Man, I could probably hit it up, pick another hi hat, honestly. I like that hi hat. It's so quiet, man. <laughs> Let's put all these in like the same mixer channel, like eleven or something, so I don't have to like. Hear it too much. I'm just gonna put all these at like zero volume and go back to it later. <laughs> okay. Uh. So, 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 so. It's kind of how we want to start off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so hmm. I feel like let's let's unstamp or snap these. This is just too much right now. I like to do like this little pattern where it's like. Keep it slow, I guess. If the rapid pattern doesn't work, which I do like, we gotta go with this type of pattern. And just do, do what we can with it. All right, these sounds are kind of just in the way. Just try to do that. See if see if that makes any sense. So this hi hat is just like reversed, normalized. And 
All types of nonsense. I'd actually like it. I would like it a little bit closer to the other side, but I guess it's not possible. Let's see what type of effects work. Love filter. Oh yeah, I have this focus EQ. I have multiple EQs. This. That one just like pops it like there. And there's this retro, more retro one. Uh, which I like for lofi beats more. Kind of like cuts out the uh, highs. Tighten it a little bit more. This is the delay too. We have this coming later in the beat. Oh no. Just adding random effects on a hi hat, really. Uh. Then there's gross beat. It's a reverb, kind of like. This gross beat. Got really quiet all of a sudden. Wait a minute, what did I do here? Funny, right? Oh yeah, man. One thing we forgot to do is humanize this this stuff. So let's alt alt Q. No. Whoa. Let's strum. Strum it out a little bit, and then let's take these top notes up here, and then alt R R for like randomize, I guess. So just like pan it, and then like change the velocity so it'll just be like all over the place. It sounds better. Okay. Move on to the kick, drum, snare. This is a weird beat. I mean, I'm really just trying new things. It's definitely like a this needs to be hitting twice type beat. I can already tell this snares, but I like kicking. I actually like picking quiet snares because like you can always just up a snare. It's easy to up a snare. Like you just have to up the velocity on a snare. It's gonna be louder pretty much every time. Well, every time. Just gotta like vibe. Now you gotta vibe with the kick. It can be hard to get the kick right.
Still keep vibing. Maybe like just repeat it there. You have to like do that twice. Just cheat. Hashtag arrangement. I'm not even really liking this bass that much. I might, have to, I might just re record it. I really don't like it that much. So that's what we have so far. See, it's just all over the place. The hat needs to be tamed. I think making a lofi beat really is all about making just weird beats. So that's why I'm like, kind of sounds like a lofi beat. I like some cool counter melody. Counter melodies are just like, man, if you want to make your beat better, whip out the counter and just lean back and vibe. Try this kick. <laughs> I like this one. I could just use. And like I said, picking a soft kick isn't necessarily bad, because you can always just edit it, up the velocity, clone it, clone it like double air, and it can become like a formidable kick. Hmm. 
See what I'm saying? Then just do that. Thing we can try is freestyling over this beat. Um, whew. This is where things go south. Really. Yeah. 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 I made this beat. Yeah, I promise I made. Yeah, I promise I made. FL would just have an ounce of sense with this one. What would I rather record than a mic on my computer? So I'm trying to make a thumbnail. Trying to find some good food to eat. Trying to find which way to go. Trying to find how to flow. I just Perfect. look like I'm a robot. Oh, yo. Pull out the strap. Pull out the gat. Pat, pat, pat. Make them scatter. Make them splat like bladder. Make them tight like a bladder. Oh. I'm 
you said I found I'd be in the booth Trying to make truth happen While I'm still youth I just be trapping Be clapping My hands to the beat I got my socks on my feet Trying to find some good food <gasps> to eat Trying to find Sweet food, food I need to eat some breakfast Trying to find Crap man that salads with no forks is like the most frustrating thing on earth. Pull out the strap, pull out the gat, pat, 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 make them scatter, make them splat like bladder, make them tight like a bladder. Uh. Yeah, that's it for this video. Anyways, y'all check the description. Free those with drum pads, FL20. Peace out.